guys, this is Connie. I have got a haul for you today, and last weekend was my birthday. This week I was, um, hit a rough patch in my depression because my birthday does it to me every time. And I turned really old this year. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I um, got some money for my birthday, so I did a little retail therapy. And this one here is Sephora, and I also ordered a um, a some stuff from Ulta that I don't have yet. I should be getting that like Monday or Tuesday, so I will film that next weekend. So the first things I want to do is show you my samples that I got this week. The first one is Flora by Gucci, and this is Pear White Gardenia and Gucci Signature Patchouli. And it comes like that, and like this, so, and it smells really nice, really nice. The next one is Marc Jacobs, which is my favorite, uh, Mod Noir, Nior, how do you say that word, N-O-I-R, how do you say that word? Is it Nor? Nior? That doesn't sound right. But anyway, it is Sparkling and Lush, a fresh and airy floral signature with notes of dewy greens, luscious gardenias, and creamy musks. Wow. I'm going to like this one. All right. And the next one is Alien by Thierry Mug Mugler. And this is... Enhance yourself with Alien Eau de, Eau de Parfum, the magic of an everlasting precious stone bottle, thanks to the refill bottle or your perfume source. I don't know what that means, but anyway, like this. That's what the full bottle looks like, I guess. Okay, and then I got, um, this is... Little Black Sephora Favorites book, and it tells all about their favorites that they have, which I will be, be looking at. Um, the next thing is Gifts, Scents Worth Celebrating. Oh, what fun. E-A-O. E-A-U. And this is Timeless Traditions by Sephora. Wrap it up. They must have, like, wrapping paper or something. Okay, this one here is Elizabeth and James Nirvana White, and it's got the perfumes here. Uh, Nirvana Black and a Nirvana White. Invite curiosity with beguiling blend of musk, peony, and muguet. And the black is Let the Night Unfold as dark violet and vanilla dance with notes of sandalwood. That's what that looks like. This is kind of neat. I've never gotten this before. And the next is Prada. And there's a Candy Floral and a Candy Leo. And I just got the, oh, it's just a candy. And then there, that's what that looks like. And I just got the one here. This one here is Chloe. Be the best dressed in chic, chic notes of rose that complement an amber heart. And I got this, and this is what that looks like. I love perfume samples. And the next is Tory Birch, and that is Absolute RSVP to a modern affair defined by notes of fresh turbo turboise and earthy vetiver. Which, these words, I'll tell you what. I probably really butcher them. And the last one is the, the Mod Noir by Marc Jacobs. And I got another sample of that. And that is what that full size looks like. His bottles are so unique and cool. Okay, I'm going to put this back in the envelope, and then I will show you what I got. The whole reason I went to Sephora, otherwise I would have probably stuck with Ulta, because I don't know, I just, Ulta is more familiar to me, even though there's so many brands on Sephora that I want to try. But the whole reason I did this is the lipsticks, my birthday present, Happy birthday, one year bolder, it says, from NARS. I've never owned a NARS product in my life. And these are so dang, dang cute. They're just little ones, but look at, I mean, the colors are amazing. They're chubby lipsticks. 
Oh, just absolutely beautiful. Whoops, that's what that looks like. And this one is Satin Lip Pencil. Doesn't tell me what color it is. And this one is more red. Oh, and so creamy feeling. So those are the two that I got there. I'm so happy to have those. Um, let me see if it says anything on here. I do not see names on here at all, anywhere. So I have no idea what color these are. But anyway, that's they're pretty, pretty um, true to their colors. I'm very happy with those. Very, very, very happy. But that is the whole reason that I got this, um, is because of my birthday present. Okay, the next thing is I got Rainforest Palette <laughs> by Tarte. Rainforest After Dark, actually. Isn't that a beautiful purple? It's kind of their signature, I think. But I just, I have been wanting this forever. Forever. And look at that. That wood tone finish on there. And then there's a little stone in the eye of the serpent. Okay, so then you open it. Big mirror. Big mirror. And look at that. Look at that blush. Oh my God. In those neutrals. And it's got the highlighter. So beautiful. I mean, that highlighter is just gorgeous. colors. A few of those colors. I don't do real wonderful swatches, but oh, and that blush is so soft. It's very, I don't know, um, seems like it's very sheer. So you could see it here though, right there. So beautiful. And it does t say the names here. Let's see here. All right. So we have Pink Ave Park Avenue Princess right here, the bronzer. And then Champagne for the highlighter. From left, from le my left to my right, we have uh, Bear to Explore, Make a Mauve, Plum Away With Me, Up to No Gold, um, Tan Gold Up in You, and Don't Turn a brown and the the um thing the blush is unleashed isn't that beautiful i've wanted that for so long and i'm so happy to have finally gotten it um one of their nice palettes anyway and it it tells you exactly how to do a couple of looks. There's a couple things here. How to do a seductive sunrise and an after hours adventure eye. So that's kind of cool. Okay, and then I I wanted the bigger one and I thought uh, that's a lot more money actually. But um, I got a Sephora Favorites lipsticks. Give me some lip. 
Um, I wanted the big, like I said, I wanted the bigger one. And I now I kind of wish I would have gotten it because I did look at these. I'm going to wipe my hand off here so I can swatch for you. Guys, I did my get ready with me video today, and I got to show you. I used Revlon uh, Color Stay Ultimate uh, Liquid Lipstick in Top Tomato on my lips, and they're very dry, very dry. I mean, I just want to lick my lips all the time. It drives me crazy. I don't like stuff that dries that much and it's very difficult to put on anybody have any tips or tricks on how to put on dark lipstick with um, a doe foot applicator that does not smear and I mean I've got it everywhere I'm not having a good makeup day today <laughs> anyway on to my lipsticks I wanted to let my hand dry a little bit first thing this is the only full-size product is the Tarte um, Coral Blossom, which I'm not an orange person, if everybody knows, but this is kind of very pretty. That one is that color, and I think that I can pull this one off. It's not too orange. Okay. Then we've got a Sugar uh, Rose Fresh And that's all it says, Rose Fat Fresh. Oh, and I did not realize that you, this one here just, it's just a, and you unscrew these. I like those that unscrew like that. And that's what it looks like. But this is very, very sheer. Um, which I don't understand why they put these in their lip, in their favorites, these very, very sheer things. I just don't quite understand that. Because it barely, I mean, can you even see it? And I went over it and over it and over it. It's just, I don't quite get that. Why they put those in their favorites that are so sheer that you can't even see them. Okay, the next thing is a Marc Jacobs. And I have got one other Marc Jacobs, that, but I don't know if this is the same color or not. Um, I guess we'll see. Come on. And it's so darn cute. So cute. Beautiful. I will definitely use this. Even if I have two, I don't care. I will use them. Because I, I love that color. I think it's so pretty. But isn't that neat? I just love those. Okay, the next thing. This is another thing I don't understand. This is a Makeup Forever. And it's a lip gloss. It is 202 Artist Plexi Gloss. And this is what it looks like. It's Makeup Forever, it says right there. Got a cute little lip down here, which is very cute. But I don't get this. I mean, you get, uh, what, six lipsticks, and two of them you can't see. And this one feels really thick and really um, sticky. Like I said, I haven't tried any of these on yet. See, you can't even see it. Look at two of them you can't even see. I feel kind of gypped, to tell you the honest truth. Um, four, five, six. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, never mind. This one is Sephora brand. And this is so pretty. This one is um, just says the, oh peony it's the neutrals in peony this is very pretty hey, that's very pretty. I like that a lot 
And the last one in here is a Kat Von D. And that is, um, I wish it was in a little bit different color, but that's okay. And this stuff is just too tiny for me to read. I was thinking it was Lolita, but I'm not real sure. But it is, wow. Look at that. That is one swipe. And I know it's a, it's a, um, just a trial size, but I don't care. Or a deluxe sample, whatever you want to call it. But this is what I got. And I'm very happy with four of them. Very happy with four of them. Um, the two glosses, or the, the sugar and the makeup forever, to me that makes no sense whatsoever. To put something in there that you can't even see on your hand. I mean, I'm looking at this, and it matches my skin tone. Look at there. There's four of them that stand out and two that you can't even see. What are your guys' opinions? Please tell me on, on everything that I got. What do you think? Um, I'm pretty happy. I, there's a lot more that I could have got. But along with the stuff that I got from Ulta and this, I wanted to... Um, I did spend a little bit more than I should have. Um, probably about $15 more than the money that that I was given for my birthday, but that's okay. $15 is $15. Um, I can probably make that up pretty easy. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let me know what you think. And I will talk to you next week. Love you. Bye-bye.